Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today is Thursday and Thursday is Piao! <clears throat> Sorry for the, the throat issues. So today, and in case you're new here and you don't know what the heck Piao is, it's fun to say you should try it. And there's different ways you can say Piao. You can go Piao! Like a little cat. Or you can go Piao! Like it's a guitar string. <laughs> <laughs> you can do all the things so piao stands for premier yarn of the week now we could have put the t in there for the but like we like to ignore the the so it's just premier yarn of week piao <laughs> so um my favorite if you're new here um because i really should explain things more often because there is a constant growth in the channel I get new subscribers every single day and for that I am incredibly grateful that you choose to spend time with me because uh, I'm so often weird <laughs> but um yeah Premier Yarns is my favorite yarn and I like to showcase a yarn from their their website once a week sometimes these yarns are in store sometimes they're not I have a large collection of Premier Yarns. Most of my yarn is slowly moving over towards Premier Yarns. It is not the only yarn I buy. I buy lots of yarn, um, but it's my favorite, and it's the company that I go back to time and time again. And I always do tell you guys that I am an affiliate. However, if I don't like a yarn from Premier, I tend to just not show it. So if you don't see it on the channel a lot, or I haven't really talked about it, it's because I don't care for that yarn, because I don't love all of Premier Yarns. I love a lot of them, but not all of them. All right, so this this one I'm showing you today is one of the yarns that I actually really like. Um, it is the Color Fusion DK. This came out about a year ago, and the only reason I know that it came out about a year ago is because I have a video that I created about a year ago <laughs> where I unboxed this brand new yarn. Um, Color Fusion is also available in a chunky version, and I have a tutorial for the chunky version of this yarn. Um, this yarn is beautiful. It is beautiful. These skeins have been in a box with all of my other P.O. Um, yarns. I went through my stash um, last year when I decided to start P.O. and I filled a box with, and it's not a box, it's a Tupperware cool, it's one of, it's one of the plastic bins that I have all over my room including these ones right here. <laughs> okay, so I have one of those bins filled up with yarns that I have planned to feature on Piao. And it's funny because I just looked in there. It's been a while since I looked in there because there's been new yarns rolling out and I want to feature those, you know. And um, there's yarns in there that have now been discontinued so I'm a little bit sad about that but I get to take those out and put them back in stash and um, play with them and they don't have to be part of any series. But that's why these skeins look a little worse for wear because they were in a box that gets tossled a lot looking for yarns so let me tell you about the yarn first this is like i said it is color fusion dk it is a dk weight so it's a lightweight number three it is 325 yards of a 100 percent acrylic yarn it is let's see lightweight number three is machine washable warm tumble dry normal um, it recommends a four millimeter crochet hook or 3.75 knitting needles I never use that small ever so if you you like using DK weight yarns you don't have to use those tiny little hooks and needles and um you can go up a size I generally don't go below a five <laughs> real talk I don't go below five millimeter crochet hook and I don't even know what size knitting needles I use often because I can't see those tiny little numbers on my needles, so I just grab what looks good, so I don't really pay attention. <laughs> I just kind of go with it. Because usually if I'm going to knit, I knit something small and something quick. Because I have a knitted blanket that is on the needles, and it's been there for well over a year, and I don't see it being finished anytime soon. And I only have like two skeins left to go. Anyway, neither here nor there. So anyway, this one is the colorway Maui. And this works up 
absolutely beautiful like watercolors and it looks beautiful and knit and crochet and i'm actually going to crochet and knit a little swatch for you today but keep in mind i'm knitting and crocheting very slowly at this time in our lives so it, <laughs> if you don't want to see the swatch you don't have to like watch me knit it and crochet it up this is the colorway maui it's beautiful like sandy colors and beachy colors and oceanic colors and then this color is saltwater taffy and i actually purchased this one because of one of the members of my facebook group posted that she purchased it last year and i don't know if she purchased the dk version or if she purchased the bulky version um but i do remember she posted this and i was like okay that didn't draw my attention on the website but like the picture she showed totally drew my attention and so i had to purchase it and it's beautiful shades of pinks and grays and kind of I, the gray is like gray but it's leaning kind of taupey so it's a taupey gray <laughs> and then the beautiful blues and that is just absolutely beautiful and then last but not least we have this one and this is called blue jeans and anyone who's been around for any amount of time as you can see this side looks terrible but <laughs> i love blue jean colored yarn so much um i wear a well i used to wear blue jeans and blue jeans and t i'm a blue jeans and t-shirts kind of girl and then i gained a little bit of weight and my jeans became tight so then i started wearing jogging pants leggings sweatpants pajama bottoms all the time but like i love a good pair of good fitting blue jeans that are comfortable you know the kind with just a little bit of stretch in them not the stiff jeans you know what i'm talking about and so i buy a lot of blue jean colored yarn because I have the idea that I'm going to wear a white shirt that doesn't have stains on it because I seem to always stain my white t-shirts <laughs> with like my jeans and like a really nice blue cowl or infinity cowl thing. And I just, that's, that's like the perfect vision of an outfit for me. And so I always buy the blue jean stuff with the intentions of making myself blue jean stuff. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, I would really like a blue jean colored hat because I think that would look really cute with my hair color sticking out at the bottom <laughs> so, anyway this yarn is soft it is really nice feeling um i have lots of i i have quite often what i call velcro skin because a i have eczema b i have these horrible outbreaks where i get blisters on my fingers and they bust open and i always have like splintered skin on my hands sticking out and now that i am diabetic i also have little prick marks on my fingers so for me my skin on my hands specifically is very just prickly all the time and this does not give me the velcro effect at all which i love because some yarns will stick and you're like you're pulling little hairs off i don't like that <laughs> this does not do that this is very soft it's very like luscious it's got a beautiful drape on it it's just a really nice yarn and i really i really like it and I think I might have more than just the three, these three colors somewhere in a bucket. But they're not in the working bucket, so we're not going to worry about it. But I am going to tell you the price on this yarn on the website. Right now at the recording of this video, which is January 10th, 2023, is $5.49. And it comes in 15 different beautiful watercolor colors. Um... If you guys have been around or if you haven't you're gonna learn <laughs> i don't like i don't like all one color yarn so when i feature yarns when i really fall in love with the yarns it's usually because they're multicolored, self-striping variegated painted dotted i just like lots of color i like lots and lots of color <laughs> so that's generally what i lean towards and um like I said, this comes in 15 different colors, and I know this doesn't do it justice, but I will like I will link this below, and if you want to see the colors up close, you can click the link, and just it'll give you an idea of all the different colors of this yarn. Let's see, there's just beautiful, beautiful colors, all different shades for any of your preferences. So let's go down to the table and we'll work up a little swatch. All right, so I grabbed the Maui colorway. Um, I don't, I think I've worked with a couple of these different colorways. I specifically like, I think the Sunset. I think it's called Sunset. 
Look at my little Betty Boo. I love my puppers. That ain't it. Right here. I think it was this one. Painted Desert. That is one of the ones that I worked up most frequently. I worked it up in the DK version and the chunky version and it's my favorite and that's what it looks like worked up. I've made hats and other things um, and I think that's what I may have used for the the chunky version hat for this. Let me grab a hook. I have no idea what size hook this is. I think this might be a four and a half. Not positive. Don't generally work in hooks this small, but it'll work for today. We're just going to start with a crochet swatch, but we have to do kind of a big swatch because the colors on this, even though they are watercolor-like, the stripes are kind of um, long. So to get the full effect, we have to make a little bit of a bigger swatch than we normally do. Because usually I make little tiny swatches and you can see like the color and see how it's got like the little different colors. Some people hate that. There are a lot, I, I watch a lot of videos where I see people like, oh, I hate when there's weird color breaks. I don't mind color breaks in the yarn. Um, that doesn't bother me in a finished product because I like abstract art. I like art that, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love good, precise, realistic art that you can't really tell if it's a painting or photograph. Of course, I love that, but like, I love abstract. I love blurred lines. I love where it might not make sense to everyone, but to like a few people that painting like touches places in their soul. Like I like that kind of stuff. So for me, this type of yarn is no different. I'm crocheting my hair in. This type of yarn is no different. It's very watercolory effects um, to where it just, you get that effect. So if that bothers you, stay away. I know that there are some, I think like Karen cakes. I think the Karen cakes are the ones that have the the weird speckles in the solid parts of the color. And uh, if you don't if you don't want like big giant color breaks in a project, like when you do double crochet, for example, if there's a color break, it's going to be way more obvious because the color break will be the length of the stitch. So there'll be a defined line. Whereas if you're working in single crochets, the color change will be less noticeable. It'll be a little more subtle. So I always say that if you're working with a yarn with color breaks, like when it's getting ready to change color, that row should be single crochet. Bear with me, folks. I'm explaining to you guys once again that my hands are shaky this week. My vision is off because of the health issues that I'm having this week, but um, I have no doubt that I will be on the mend soon. If you've been staying tuned to my, uh, my health journey right now, I am feeling okay today, which is better than yesterday. <laughs> so... Just taking it one day at a time. And I'm just going to do double crochets for a couple rows because like I said, hang on, I have a piece of skin. <sighs> i got to get rid of that. Um, I really want the, I want you guys to see the, a bigger swatch so you can see the color changes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work up a bigger swatch with double crochets so that we can get to the color change a little faster. And then, um, so you guys can see what the color changes look like in this. Because like I said, this, this type of yarn is not for everyone. I find it to be beautiful. And I really like, this gives a really good self-striping effect on hats. Like a beautiful self-striping effect on hats. 
<clears throat> I don't know how this would work up in bigger projects because I don't think I've made a shawl or anything out of this but I think a shawl would be absolutely beautiful and while this is a DK it's um when it's worked up it's got a nice plumpness to it like it's squish So, and of course, I did mention this before. I am an affiliate for Premier Yarns. If you click the link in the description box and you purchase any yarn from Premier Yarns, this one or Sale Yarns, they got really good sales going on right now. Um, <clears throat> they tend to change their sales, I think, on Thursdays. So. <laughs> By the time my video is recorded and released, the sales are have changed because I think they changed them on Thursdays. And um, so I could tell you the sales are fantastic today, but I don't know what they're going to be on Thursday. And I am going to pause. I'm going to change my battery. I'm going to continue working up a swatch. And I will come back after we've worked some more of this. All right, so here's our swatch <coughs> we worked up. I started with double crochets, I moved into half double crochets, and then I did, so this is double, half double, I attached my knitting needles, this is garter stitch, this is stockinette stitch, and then I did a one by one ribbing there, all with the knitting needles, so this is what it looks like. It's very soft. It's very squishy. The reason I worked up such a big sample is I wanted you guys to see how the color breaks are in here. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this is not for everyone. Just because some people hate that color breaks. I love the way that looks. I just feel like it's just so pretty. And you'll notice that the color breaks are the color spots that you will see in the, the, the swatches. So you start with the white, but then it gives you the brown speckled in to, to let you know that the next color that's coming is this taupey color. And then when you come up here, these little spots here are some of the peach being speckled into the brown to let you know that the speckle, the next color is the peach. And then we just started to see the blue being speckled in with the peach to let you know that the next color is this beautiful blue color that's coming. And as you can tell here, the gray is going to be next after that because there was going to be gray speckling on the blue. This works up beautifully and I love that it is machine wash and dry because I mean you can make anything with this. You can make baby items, you can make blankets, you can make wearables, you can make anything that your little heart desires that you can, oh excuse me, that you can uh, <clears throat> use for a DK weight yarn. But remember this is also in chunky weight. So the color fusion is also available in a chunky version and I just checked it's the same price as a DK version. You get 109 yards and it's all the same 15 colors. So whether you prefer DK or a chunky weight yarn, you're covered. So I will link both the color fusion DK below and the color fusion, the color fusion and the color fusion DK below um, in case you're more of a chunky girl or you know, or guy or guy or if you prefer DK I will link them both below but yeah check those out really like this yarn it's really soft it works up really it's got a nice squish to it but at the same time it's got a really nice like soft drapey feel to it so this makes excellent everything I can't think of anything I wouldn't make out of this but thank you so much for watching oh, I am so sorry Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, also, I'm going to link below the chunky version of the... I have a hat tutorial for the chunky version of this yarn, but you could also switch it out and use the DK version for the same tutorial because you're measuring it to your head. So I will link that tutorial below. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.